Aj. Ah, är det rullar vi? Mm. Ah, sweet. <laughs> so welcome to this very romantic uh, episode of uh, the subscription coffees that you will be getting. Uh, which month is it now? May. May. So uh, the May coffee that we have selected is coming from a farm that this lady was visiting in. What, when was it? October. October. Yeah. Seventeen. So Ida used to be my wholesale manager, worked for me for many, many years. How many years? Seven and a half. Yeah. And then she decided to leave, to move up north and started working with beer. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fun? It's great fun. Yeah. Uh, and I do survive because they're a wholesale customer of yours. Exactly. So I get my daily dose of Tim and Bo. That's good. I yeah. knew that, so I'm good. But enough chit chat. Yes. Let's get to the coffee. Yes. Um, so, the May coffee is uh, a coffee from Finca Tamala mm -hmm. in Colombia and uh, Elias Roa is the producer. I'm sure you've seen some footage of that farm and <laughs> him before, but he's basically my neighbor. So I bought some land from Elias uh, a couple of years ago now, Finca El Suelo, where uh, we're doing our own biological farming. Uh, but I'm also buying coffee from Elias, which is, you know, I stay at his house when I'm working on my farm because I don't have uh, money to build a house yet. So Ida was there with me in October. How was it to be on the farm? Uh, I want to cry straight away. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. It was a short week. It was uh, some intense days, uh, but I'm, it was just perfect, really. Uh, I have two small kids, so it was like I didn't have time to miss them. But it was long enough for me to learn a lot. Because you were uh, Skyping with them every morning. Okay. Yeah. Was, you know. <laughs> uh, it was amazing. Cool. So the, the coffee, the coffee uh, is actually the first time we have this coffee from Finca Tamala. Uh, and it's a Castillo variety. We've had Castillo before, but this is the Castillo Naranjal. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try to say that. Okay. No. No. You know what the difference is? No. Let's just let our beacon uh, say something first. Yeah. Uh, the difference between the normal Castillo, which is called uh, Castillo General, General Castillo, and Castillo Naranjal uh, is that the uh, Seneca Fe, which is the research uh, uh, institute in Colombia that are, have developed this new variety, they have been uh, sending uh, or developed the variety, which is a resistant variety. It's a crossing between Hibrido de Timor and Caturra. Um, and it's kind of a more developed variety than the Variedad Colombia, mm -hmm. which is quite traditional. Uh, it's resistant against leaf rust, which means the Elias doesn't have to spray any fungicides. Good. Uh, and it produces a lot of coffee. So what the Seneca Fe did, because Colombia is a big country and they have many different types of climates, uh, so they uh, developed a variety and then sent out seeds to different uh, farms around Colombia that they have, research farms. Uh, so they would select the, the trees that were kind of surviving in that environment, particular environment. And this Castillo was developed at a farm called Naranjal, which is the main uh, research farm for Sene Cafe, which is based in Quindío. It's kind of in the middle of the coffee triangle, in the middle of Colombia. Uh, so Elias planted this a uh, couple of years ago because I told him I've tasted it, it tastes really good. Uh, so let's try it on, on his farm. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little different than the normal ca Castillo, so let's taste it and see Exciting. what you think. That's more intense. Yeah. I like it. A little bit more it's, intense. It's, uh, it's more action in there. Yeah. A little herbal, as always, because it's a, it's a hybrid. Uh, so you get a little bit of that herbalness from the Hibrido de Timor, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but also the coffees uh, from Tamala tends to have a little bit of that herbalness. It's kind of like a green bell pepper flavor. I really like it. I don't really mind it. Quite sweet. Yes, it is. It's yeah. a very nice balance. Almost like you put sugar in it. This would be the perfect uh, cup of coffee in the morning. Yes. Yes. We actually uh, used this coffee in the World Barista Championship. Uh, I was coaching uh, Diego Campos, the Colombian uh, barista champion, for the championship that was in Korea in uh, November um, last year. 
and we specifically selected this coffee for his milk beverage because uh, it has a lot of this chocolate, very intense body, quite uh, kind of strong coffee, uh, but a lot of sweetness. So when we paired it with milk, it kind of tasted like uh, almost like almond milk. I actually um, got to taste that. Because, yeah, um, yeah, that's it true. was practicing in yes. Colombia, so it was a really, really good milk drink. So with that, we actually selected a, a lighter uh, milk, not a full fat, but a skim milk or whatever you call it. Uh, and with the Castillo Naranjal, it really tasted like almonds and marzipan. And mm. You get a little bit yeah, of the marzipan, marzipan yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that was it. Definitely, very, very sweet coffee. Mm. So we planted this, um, uh, Elias says that this is kind of Beanese coffee, it's his wife. There's a little, you know, just a little stripe on the side of his farm. Uh, it's probably half a hectare, so there's not many bags, it's maybe like five bags um, and that they produced this year. Uh, but I, I thought it tasted really good and I wanted to buy it mm -hmm. uh, for our subscribers. So uh, most of this coffee will go out to our subscribers, we'll probably have a little bit left in the store to sell. Um, I think we might do it as an espresso because it's so delicious in milk. We'll see. But um, we really hope you like the coffee. Do you kind of feel that you're back on the farm when you drink this? Or? I, I do. I, uh, I mean, those meals were amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the coffee now. Yeah, 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 but I mean, <laughs> I, I would go straight back to sitting there at Elisa's table and everything is perfect. Yeah. Coffee, food, company. It reminds me of uh, when I drink the morning coffee at Tamala. You wake up you know, before sun, the sun goes up. The first thing I do is to make a cup of coffee and it always tastes really sweet. I think the water there is really soft or mm. uh, there's something. Probably it's just emotional. But uh, you always get this really rich, sweet coffee. Uh, there's nothing better than drinking the coffee from the farm on the farm. That's the, the best. But uh, the second best thing is, of course, to drink the coffee from the farm somewhere else. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks Thank for uh, seven for and a half me. fantastic years. I really hope you thrive in the new <laughs> industry, the beer industry. And um, yeah, let's stay in touch. I'll yes. be visiting when uh, my wife is from Tromsø, where Ida is living now. So I'm going to visit quite a lot. And especially since it's a wait. beer brewery, I'll be there more than you, you want. You can just maybe. take your sleeping bag and yeah. just camp. <laughs> hope you like the coffee. You're gone. <laughs> like, Stephanie has put me on bar shift my last day, but I'm gonna say like you need one more person because I'm not gonna be able to stand on my two feet. You need some barista uh, training before that then. It's been a while. Hey, I am training <laughs> your customers. I I can make good coffee on any machine. Mm -hmm.